Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm in batch right now. Uh, this is a talk and an app called the Emote Nomicon. Uh, you are a human. Uh, congrats. Uh, you are an evolved being. Uh, one of the things that you involved is a limbic system. And because you have a limbic system, you have emotions. Sometimes they suck. They're hard to talk about. And one of the reasons they're hard to talk about is that we do not have the language to talk about them. Naming things is powerful. Uh, Ursula Le Guin spent a whole fantasy novel describing how powerful naming things is. Um, so I did what developers do when we are confronted with humanity. I made an app uh, and I call it an app for internal navigation. Uh, it will help you be a human who feels things. That's a lie, but I still hope you enjoy it. Um, so you can do that, you can enjoy it or, or not at standard.dev slash emotonomicon, and I'm going to go demo that right now. Um, this is the emotonomicon. Um, <clears throat> it's mostly a combo box interface where you tell it how you feel. So right now I'm feeling joy. Uh, joy is an emotion of great happiness or deep contentment. Maybe I'm actually not feeling joy. Um, maybe what I'm really feeling just now is more like um, elation because there's like a little bit of like energy and anxiety in giving, in giving a talk. Uh, which is exultant or ecstatic state of great joy or well-being. Um, in fact, maybe it's maybe in fact I'm feeling triumphant, which is an overwhelming feeling of success, achievement, or superiority. Uh, but there's also like definitely a little bit of uh, anxiety there. Well, it's not so much anxiety as like I'm going to call it nervousness, or maybe even just discomposure. So this is how um, the Emote Nomicon helps you navigate what you are feeling. Uh, it is a small web app, uh, and I'll now talk about like how it's made and stuff. Okay, how does it work? Um, so the UI is made with some difficult CSS. Like the UI was definitely the hardest part of this. It took me a whole week to implement just the combo box interface because that is not a browser standard. Uh, there are like select elements and input elements, but the comma box is not a thing. Um, and making it accessible required much pouring through wire area guides. Uh, it was really important to me that it was accessible for people who navigate the web with a keyboard or even those who use screen readers, although I haven't tested that yet. Um, if you use a screen reader, I'd love to talk to you. Um, it was also made just felt. Uh, if you weren't using React, you should just pull this component off the off a shelf, but the, the component doesn't exist in the Svelte ecosystem yet. Um, the smarts are made with uh, scrappy Python scripts, uh, large language models, and vectors of random. So the definitions I was reading were generated by a large language model. Um, and the way in which we arrived at similar emotions uh, was based on embedding uh, sentences that, uh, in a land, large, large language model. There is actually something smart to say about algorithmic bias here, which is um, the definitions of like similarities that we get out of this, and the definitions and the similarities that we get out of this um, are entirely correlational based on how people use the language use language on the internet, which is not how everyone uses language everywhere. It's uh, worth being aware of. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we got to the embeddings, which is how we determine similarity by this is pseudocode, you don't need to read it. Um, embedding the sentence I am feeling and then each emotion, of the 177 of them, I quit them from a psychology textbook. Um, uh, and then doing cosine distance on the, the big, uh, embedding is just a big vector of numbers, uh, doing a cosine distance on the big vector of numbers, and then the nearest 10 I took is the, the most similar. Um, the way that we got to definitions was we seeded it with some dictionary definitions, so I took 10 emotions, uh, also suggested by the psychology textbook, um, gave them definitions, and then asked the model to complete uh, the last uh, uh, the, the last sentence, which is just like some emotion and then a blank space. Um, and I put it all together in a UI. Um, I have a bunch, a little bit of refactoring to do. If anyone knows anything about um, X state or managing like really complex uh, UI states in combo boxes, I'd be interested in talking to you. <laughs> um, uh, and otherwise, I'm also I'm happy to talk generally about like how it works and, and such. Uh, so thank you for coming to my head talk.